Today, the Class A and B boys and girls All-Star Lions basketball teams met for their first practices and meetings in Bismarck and Fargo. The High School Coaches Association's records indicate that West Hope Newburgh's Ellie Broughton is the school's first representative at the All-Star game in at least 20 years. I'm super excited. Like, there's not many girls that get to play in this game. Like, there's so many seniors throughout the state, boys and girls, and there's only a select few. Like, there's 24 between the class A and B, and to be one of those 24 feels great. I mean, what more could you ask for on your senior year than to represent? I mentioned yesterday that the Lions All-Star Series is unique from the other sports All-Star games because it pits class A against B and not East versus West. Obviously, I've never played against any other Class A girls, and neither have these guys. It's so nice just to showcase everyone's talent throughout the state, no matter what level you are on. Ellie's playing basketball at Valley City State next year. The All-Star Games are on Monday at Bismarck High and Tuesday at Fargo South. Minot State pitcher Trevin Badger on the mound for the Minot Hot Tots tonight against the Minnesota Mud Puppies. Badger got the exact start. Tots wanted struck out the side in the first inning. Three batters up, three batters down. Same fate for the Tots bats in the home half of the first, though. Three up, three down. Minot comes back up to bat. Badger didn't allow a hit through the first two innings. He struck out five of the first six batters the Mud Puppies sent up to the batter's box. Damani Hale played for the now defunct Mandan Flicker Tails back in the 2020 season. He's now a hot tot and a sophomore at New Mexico State. And boy, he may as well hit that ball to Las Cruces. This is whacked out to right field. A two run homer and the tots are riding a two game win streak and their first series win in franchise history. There is absolutely nothing like it in the racing world in our region. Six consecutive nights of racing on six different tracks in two different countries. It's year number 34 for the Dakota Classic Modified Tour. The tour begins tomorrow in Jamestown, and what John Gartner helped get started over three decades ago has grown into an event that draws drivers from around the country and from up north. Well, we've got cars coming from uh, 15 uh, U.S. states and a whole bunch of Canadian cars coming. Now that the pandemic's over, Canadians are back with us again with Estevan. So we, we've got the cars coming. We've got the talent really coming. Gardner says a guy from Mooresville, North Carolina, recently signed up. There are six super national champions in the group, plus a few national champions. Best of the best in local cars will be competing. John says he really doesn't have to sell the tour anymore. It sells itself. We've developed some pretty good relationships with the guys down south. It's too hot now to race down there. And uh, some of our guys go down there in the winter and into Arizona and California to race. And uh, it's worked out good. So a lot of these guys are developing friendships. Uh, they love to come up here during the summer because the North, Keto, North Dakota people are so hospitable and they, they really like our tracks too. After Jamestown, tour heads to Minot this Sunday at the Nodak Speedway. Hey, Connor Kurzman plans to play at Bismarck State next year. The All-Stater from Garrison averaged more than 22 points per game as a senior. He was also the Region 5 Senior Athlete of the Year. Congratulations to Connor. How about some basketball themed trivia? Moha Lansford Sherwood used to be three separate schools until 2004. Can you name Mohal's old mascot? Well, it's not the Mavericks, that's their name currently. I suppose it would have been clever if they had named their student section the Beehive. That's because the mascot is a type of wasp. The Yellow Jackets coming up on the 20 year anniversary of those three schools consolidating. Sorry if I made anyone feel old. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't like Yellow Jackets either, but as a mascot, it's pretty cool. It's pretty solid. Yeah. We'll be right back.